Good morning, everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. I blinked and now it's Wednesday. <laughs> it's been a, a pretty wild week. So I'm giving you guys a little bit of time while I walk onto property to share this, tag each other, alert everybody we're live. Have all kinds of random verbal updates for you guys. And we'll try to see some cats along the way. Hi Deb, hi Missy, hi Bella. Good morning, Kelly. Hey, Cheryl. Thank you guys for sharing this, alerting everybody that we are live. There's a Miss Ginger. Hi, Miss Ginger. Typical Ginger greeting and then goodbye. Good morning, Anne. Hi, Chris. Yep, last couple of days have been a whirlwind. There's Miss Duchess laying in her roof section. She spent most of yesterday laying in a lockout when she has two and a half acres. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hold on, let me get my mask on here. <laughs> then I can come closer and say hi to you. <laughs> hi, Dutch bunnies. <laughs> Dutch, Dutch, come back! I can't see you down there. Dutch, Dutch! <laughs> well, I went on the wrong side. I'm not gonna be able to see you at all. Come here, Duchess. <laughs> yeah, this way. This way and roll around and be crazy. <laughs> Hi, honey. Where are you going? Duchess? Where are you going? Duchess is in our two and a half acre vacation rotation. She's still got another week. She has been having a ball, um, primarily catching her own food. She's in heat, so she's definitely on a bit of a rampage <laughs> and very much obsessed with her keepers. Dutch Dutch! If you go past the tunnel, I can't get to you. But you guys can watch her 24 seven. She has a feeding lockout camera and I'm sure you can see her very well on the main explore camera on vacation rotation. Bigcatcams.com will get you there where there's a giant list of all the cameras, plural, so many cameras. Hi, buddy. So, I promised Miss Nancy yesterday that we would come say hi to you. Hi, Hutch. What you doing? Oh, sweet boy. Oh, sweet boy. This is Hutch Serval. Hi, cute boy. He is on my list of next shirts to buy. I finally went in and spent a pretty penny at BigCatRescue.biz and ordered a bunch of my favorite designs because now that we're able to, as staff, as long as it's not our like overall like staff day as far as if we're coordinating or if we're gonna be filmed for whatever reason or like when I went to the Humane Society with Chaos I wore my official Navy staff shirt but 
the rest of the time we get to kind of wear whatever we want as long as when we order new designs we put the logo and staff on the back of it so I just did a bunch of those I showed you guys on Sunday that I was wearing my summer shirt now I've got on and we'll try to go see him my Kimba shirt which is so cute. I love it, love it, love it. I love it. <laughs> now I gotta get Mr. Hutch because I ordered Smalls and Cyrus and Summer and Kimba on the first batch. I also ordered myself an old school Tiger Lily because I just needed it. I needed it. So many more to order though. You and Ginger friends. I see her back here again. Let's see if we can get a better view of Miss Ginger. Hi, Gigi. What you doing? What you doing? Are you playing? Is there something in there that you're playing with? Oh my. Yeah, I think there's several cameras that might be down. We at, In the evenings, we've been getting some pretty intense storms blowing through. <laughs> Did you follow me back here? Yes. My goodness, sir. It's very hot and sunny back here though. Your front half's way more shade. Way more shade. So, looks like we have a pretty good number of you guys watching. So we will continue walking along, see who else we see. My goal was to go see Kimba because I'm wearing a shirt. <laughs> but, all kinds of things happening. So you guys saw on Monday afternoon, we took Chaos Caracal to the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. That's where Dr. Justin Borstein works um, his day-to-day -day job. And of course he gives us all of his extra time, <laughs> which we are very thankful for. But occasionally with some of the smaller cats, we can scoop them up and take them over to the Humane Society. And trust me, all the workers over there get a real kick out of seeing servals and caracals. Most people don't even know what caracals are, so that's always a really interesting experience. Hi! We know what you are, hissy serval. This is Zucari. Zucari's morning routine of how and when am I going to go under this giant platform to sleep all day. You're going to be a birthday boy very soon. Very, very soon. I'm already working on July birthdays which we'll be celebrating summer, of course, but also winter and Mrs. Claus and Zucari. And <laughs> anyway, so Chaos went to see Dr. Justin on Monday and he's gone. And um, of course, everybody was super amazed to find out all about caracals. We were able to do x-rays and discovered that she definitely had a broken toe, which would explain why she just wasn't really putting her foot down at all for the like 36 hours before she went to see the vet so best thing to do for that at this point is cage rest so that is what the doctor prescribed that is what we're doing originally she was gonna have to spend 10 to 14 days in the recovery hospital but then another stroke of brilliance struck Jamie yesterday. I don't see my Kali girl. I think she might be in her den. And what they have done is they have moved chaos into what was formerly known as the kitten cabana, which is all the way over there. You guys also might remember that Mr. Loki, Mr. Simba, Mr. Mouser, all of those cats have spent time in there. 
it's AC, practically the whole thing is windows so they can see out and keepers can see in. Much better than kind of the dark little hallway that the recovery hospital is. That room is ideal for like waking an animal up after sedation. So it's super dark and quiet. But beyond that, for long extended periods of time, it's very difficult for the keepers and coordinators to get in that building and get around the cat safely and to keep it clean. So Jamie decided that the kitten cabana is now basically going to become the elder, <laughs> the elder care cabana. I'm sure we'll come up with some snazzy name for it. So chaos will be in there. They are working on a camera. I know they had put a nest cam in there, but this morning when I pulled it up, it said it wasn't there anymore. I believe they had ordered another camera similar to what um, Autumn is going to have in her large section out in rehab. Also the same type of camera that Summer has. So it's just a matter of getting everything installed and keeping it online, which is Bless Randall's heart. <laughs> this is a practically a full-time job here with like nearly 50 cameras. So. And then, of course, chaos goes in there and then we discover that it is definitely time to give Cricket some intensive care. Cricket Serval, I told you guys this on Sunday, I believe. She's 21 going on 22. She has, um, she already had pretty much advanced kidney disease the last time we sedated her, which was, I believe, within a year or so. Um, she's definitely slowing down on eating. She's not as eager. Of course, she threw me off on Monday night because got back from Chaos's procedure and immediately jumped into doing evening meds. It started to rain right as I was getting out to the servals and I was like, oh no, <laughs> there's Akimba. Pretty much sitting in the same spot that I took the picture of him that is on my shirt. Hi buddy. Hi handsome, I'm wearing your shirt. Look at me being a fangirl, and my Zoom is back. Oh my goodness. Kimba fangirl right here. So anyway, I got to Cricket on Monday night for meds, and I was like, oh, she's not gonna come out in the rain. This isn't gonna go well. Heard she's being picky. To my disbelief, she like shot out of the den in the pouring rain and took every single bite of food that I gave her. So I was like, yeah, we're like, we're turning the corner, that's great. And then apparently Tuesday morning, she barely wanted to eat an ounce. It took almost all day to get about five ounces into her. So what we've decided as a last ditch effort is to bring her inside. Um, so she'll be in the AC in a hospital situation, but we will be giving her sub-Q fluids, I believe up to twice a day for several days, just to see if it perks her back up and improves her quality of life. Otherwise, unfortunately, 21-year-old Serval who was raised on a vegan diet, um, riddled with physical deformities and health issues. We might have to make some tough decisions, so. That's very unfortunate, but. So, Cricket and Chaos are both sharing the formally known as the Kitten Cabana. Definitely elder care now. <laughs> um, and they will be putting a, a camera up, so. Bear with us as we get cameras back online. Um, they're both in like hospital cages, but are like recovery hospital cages, so much larger than just like the squeeze cage. And they're not together. Oh my gosh, they would hate that. <laughs> Cricket might be old enough to not really care, but Chaos would not be friendly. Not, not the friendliest hospital neighbor, but... It might be a gossip corner in there though, which is pretty funny to think about. So please, good vibes. Fingers crossed for Cricket. 
And of course, healing vibes for Miss Chaos, so she can get out of that hospital faster. So, gosh, I think that was my update as far as covering Chaos and Cricket, things that happened on Monday. Uh, yesterday is when they were moved into the cabana, like yesterday, late afternoon. In the earlier morning, we moved around the rehab bobcats. Of course, I was out feeding and cleaning. It was my volunteer morning. I might be switching my volunteer day soon. Um, just a heads up on that to everybody. That's why a lot of times you don't see me do a live on Tuesday. That's because I'm out volunteering. Um, and now we have a buddy system. So whereas I can go around to the big cats by myself because I have um, like a safety device with me, we buddy up everyone else. So there always has to be two keepers together. And so I couldn't just bail on my buddy. Was your own foot stinky? Oh my goodness, buddy. What was on that tinky foot? <laughs> so silly. So anyway, I was actually feeding and cleaning this kid yesterday when I got a text from Jamie that they were ready to move Autumn. So I know that they caught Autumn. I believe they weighed her. I never got that information, so I don't know how much she weighs. But then they moved Autumn to cage two. Orpheus is in cage three. Winter is in cage four. And then a sweet little baby, Makani, came outside yesterday and he is in cage one. So you can see any and all cameras that are available on any of those enclosures listed on our camera page, bigcatcams.com. I guess it helps to wear your shirt around you. It's like, oh, you're good people. You can stay. Isn't he gorgeous? Kimba's our youngest tiger. You gonna sell some more of your shirts today? I bet you might. <laughs> So for right now, the rehab hospital is empty and it sounds like Victor and Jamie are gonna try to take that um, time of it being empty and be able to go in and do some updating and they've got some ideas about the kitten room. Um, you know, this place is constantly evolving, constantly changing, um, always trying to find better, more efficient, safer ways of doing things. So we will be interested as rehabbers here to see what they're going to come up with for in the rehab hospital. Oh, so many slow blinks, sir. He's so handsome. Is that an I'm sorry because you yelled at me yesterday? So, I have gotten my very first official talking to <laughs> from Kimba yesterday. He roared at me. He's never ever done that but I know exactly what happened. I accidentally walked between him and Jasmine while I was cleaning yesterday. And he let me know that I blocked his view and he was mad. I could tell he kind of felt bad about it though. Like he was sort of like, whoa, I didn't actually expect to yell at you quite so intensely. But you did. It kind of broke my heart a little bit, but now I just like everyone else and yelled at by the boy. <laughs> so Makani seems to be doing great. He's definitely transitioning from his baby time indoor life to once you go outside, that's when we start introducing more whole prey. He's already been getting a little bit of um, whole prey inside the hospital, but this is where we're gonna start teaching him hunting skills and turn him into a real bobcat, so. Kimba's like, your bobcat stories are boring. You're looking at a magnificent tiger talking about bobcats. <laughs> I just have so many stories from yesterday. 
another hilarious story. So I was cleaning with Barbara yesterday and we were put on interior, which is Jasmine, Kimba, Jinx, normally Manny, normally Chaos, and Cyrus, and then whoever's on Funcation. Well, since Chaos is in the hospital and Manny's in the hospital, and Cyrus is on Funcation. It felt like a really short route, but they're still really huge cages. So anyway, we got over to Cyrus and Barbara's like, I didn't see any poop for him. Cause you know, that's one of our biggest jobs as a keeper is observing the cat, observing the cage and the enclosure and finding poop. <laughs> because not eating and not pooping are two of the biggest signs that something's changing or that there's there could potentially be an issue. So finding poop is a big deal. And so I walked um, all the way around Funcation and Cyrus followed me the whole time. And she's like, oh my gosh, she really does love you. Cause like he, I guess, hasn't been following keepers that way. But anywho, I got him to follow me all the way around the enclosure. And I kept asking him where his vacation poops were. <laughs> hey you, there's a mouse mouse. I bought your shirt too, buddy. I just don't have it on today. I got your shirt too. Yeah, I wear it to Disney in July. I gotta do it. I'm gonna show Miss, Mr. Mickey who's boss, right? Mouse, mouse. So they're still working feverishly on Mouser's enclosure. It should probably be done, I would hope, in the next week or so. We can get him moved course he's back to actually doing really well for me anyway on meds night he takes the med he eats all of his food he's very friendly he's not that scared of anybody currently around him that'll change when Manny comes home kind of can't blame him but anyway so he's doing well cage is not finished yet though um, so anyway Cyrus I, I got all the way down to the end there where I would come out and I turn and look back behind me and Cyrus had stopped and he was pooping <laughs> right in front of me. And that's where I found his poop spot. So I now know where he goes on vacation and it was like he did it on command. <laughs> I was like, hey, we need this, sir. Show me where it's at. And he's like, oh, I will show you where it's at. I will literally do it in front of you. Hey, bud bud. Cyrus. What you doing? What you doing, vacation boy? Yeah! And so Monday night when I was with Mouser doing his med and food, oh, what, what got you? Something got you. What was that? Hi, love, hi, love bug. Oh, did someone get your foot? Let me see. Let me see that foot. No? Okay. So, Monday night, I'm trying to give Mouser his med and feed him. And this one is standing behind him in the background just screaming his little head off. <laughs> and so every time Mouser would hear Cyrus trill, he'd stop, of course. And... Yeah, and stare around and look at everything. And then I'd have to get him to refocus, and then he'd refocus, and then Cyrus would trill again. And... <laughs> Yes, you're so goofy. I love you so much. Why are you so silly? What have you been doing out here? Yeah, my goodness. He's like, it's vacation. I scream a little louder. I scream a little louder. Yes, oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, I've had a few keepers tell me that maybe my shrill voice <laughs> is what has caused the trilling. But we had a male caracal years ago named Rusty that would only really trill and make cute noises like that for one keeper, Joe. And they had such a, a good relationship. Yeah. You're so perfect. You're so perfect. I miss you. I don't get to see you today. I gotta go to my desk and do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. 
goodness sakes. Goodness sakes. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> so tomorrow Cyrus will have been out here for a week. Same deal. He has an Explore camera. He actually has a Verkata camera now as well. Oh my word. Oh my word. Did you already eat all the breakfast? Yeah. Yay. Yeah, I definitely bought Cyrus's shirt too. Cyrus has his Trillist shirt. I bought that one too. I just not wearing it. I can only wear so many shirts a week. <laughs> All right, bub. I'm going to keep walking. We'll make a full circle and go see what Summer's doing. Okay? Okay? All right, I love you. Go relax somewhere. It's getting hotter by the second. Tomorrow is Flint's three-year rescue anniversary. So they made him a really cute piece of enrichment. And I was gonna look to see if Moses and Bailey were in there, but we'll check in with them maybe tomorrow. Weather permitting, I'll try to do a live walk about tomorrow morning as well before I hop into um, my project day. And I'm gonna see if we can actually put Flint's enrichment in with him after breakfast tomorrow. Try to go live for that. So Filmo and Smalls are doing great. He has adjusted very, very well, very quickly. He's utilizing all parts of the enclosure now. You see him on the ground, you see him on the platforms, you see him running around with small girl. Probably one of the biggest, let's go this way and I'll show you, one of the biggest projects that's been going on for the last week or so involving Victor is that he has brought out the lift and he has been cutting down trees like you couldn't believe. So sooner than later, we'll be adding in the addition of the Kelowna and Dryden expansion. So they have to build a tunnel that'll connect it. But look how good the cage looks. There's green grass growing everywhere now. And there's a ton more sunlight coming through. It might not be something that you would notice as somebody who's not here every day, but as somebody who's here every day, this used to be a very dark area where if it rained and rained and rained, it would just stay soaked for weeks, not able to dry out. So you can also see that almost that entire two by four enclosure that was right there is now gone. So that made it feel very spacious over here too. So soon Kelowna and Dryden will have all of this luscious green. <laughs> so we'll connect them at some point. But the amount of branches that are now gone from this area and they've been reusing the bigger logs and limbs to try. You can see that used to be Ariel's old enclosure, how it's just so many limbs down everywhere. So we've got to get all that cleaned up still, but that's the work in progress happening over here. There's also still projects happening in Summer's new enclosure because she We'll eventually have this back bubble here. Currently, we still have to do some work in there so she doesn't have access to it yet. Where's that little 
little put in. There's a missus. Hi, sweet girl. You's gonna be a birthday girl here in just a couple of days. Miss Miss, our little birthday girl. How are you seven? You was such a baby when I got here. Mrs. Claus had just become a permanent resident when I became a keeper seven years ago. And now she's gonna be seven years old. Hi, summer girl. Hi, sweetheart. What's that little princess doing? What's that princess doing? She's like, oh, I thought maybe you brought me food. The food goes in here, just in case you didn't know. Does the food go in there? Does it show up for the little girl? Oh. Hi, baby. I know you've never really seen a stabilizer. I never really recorded you much like that. Oh, look at that little hop. <laughs> Way up and over. You two girls being friends. You two girls and your tails. You girls and your tails. So Manny and Gilligan, I have no news to report. They're both doing about, things are falling out of the trees like crazy. So Manny's doing well. He's leaving his area alone, <laughs> thankfully. And Gilligan, nothing new to report for him. So that's a good thing. Miss Lady. Miss Summer Girl. My goodness. My goodness. She's like, where's my neighbor? Where's that neighbor at? So Summer likes sickles. She loves food. I don't know if she's gotten into any kind of spice bags or anything, but you know that that's my department, so I'm definitely gonna start trying those out soon. Just haven't wanted to come over here and harass her all the time. <laughs> Trust me, I would sit here all day long. And by the way, a huge shout out to Tom Hutchinson, who made an incredible painting scanned it and now it's going to be able to be merchandise of our beautiful, wonderful, magical little summer girl. So I'm going to be working on that as fast as possible. <laughs> you know, there just aren't enough hours in the day. But Tom like made me cry. That's how cute the painting is. So you guys will love it. I'll put it on merchandise. Big Cat Rescued Up is coming soon. Coming soon, Miss Summer Girl. It's like her back legs are getting longer, but her front ones aren't. Are your front legs going to catch up? My goodness sakes. She is definitely starting to explore more and more and more. Is a drive by purring. Drive by purring. <laughs> All 
right, you guys. Well, that is a whole lot of verbal updates from today. Thank you so much for following along. We saw actually quite a few cats. We pretty much circled the sanctuary. I'm gonna try to do another walk tomorrow and I'll feature totally different cats and any other updates that come along and get ready to start a new month. So if you haven't sponsored any of the least sponsored cats, I know that there was a post made about who those cats are. Also, anytime a cat has a birthday or an anniversary, that's always my favorite time to suggest that you sponsor them because then you'll remember every year when you see that it's their birthday. Oh yeah, I need to re-sponsor them. All of that can be done on our online store, bigcatrescue.biz. All right, lady. guys thank you so much for joining have a great day and i will see you guys tomorrow